Okay. Um, as far as the injuries go, uh, Trey Smith uh, hurt his ankle, and we'll just see how he does here um, overnight. McDuffie strained his hamstring. We'll see how he how he does. And then um, Justin Watson um, hurt his chest, so we've got to see what that is. And then Pat landed on his wrist, and we'll, we're doing all the work on that. Uh, coming up here, so we'll see how he does. Uh, he, he did that early and and finished. Bucker, uh, his ankle, um, he hurt that, but again, he came in and kicked the field goals. Justin Reed, uh, what a job he did there. So I'm happy for our football team. The guys uh, played hard and aggressive. Um, they didn't let up, which was important. We were able to get everybody some play time, some of the young guys some play time. I thought defensively we played fast and um, had a big fourth down that really, uh, you could say, is, was a decider in there. I mean, it just it spiked things up a little bit, and then Bucker came in with a nice long field goal. So, and then offensively, um, you know, the, the the question there was. Uh, the receivers working with Pat, and and uh, which we, we you know we all wanted to see that full speed, and and uh, and so you, we got a chance to see that. I thought they worked well. Pat had a tremendous game. Uh, what was he? Thirty for thirty-nine. Um, you know, that's a that's an incredible night. Which means that the offensive defensive line, I'm, you know, the lines on both sides also played well. So normally when when, we, when the skill guys play well, those guys play well. So I make sure I compliment them. Um, Kels again had the eight catches uh, for 121 yards. But uh, listen, I mean, there's so many there's so many different things that uh, you can mention. We were two for uh, two for ten on on the defensive side for them being able to convert uh, third down. So that's a pretty good pretty good night there when the other team's shooting 20%, right? So anyways, with that time, yours. Andy, you talked about uh, Pat being on the same page as the receivers. You kind of wanted to see what that was. What was your thought about that coming into today? Did you feel pretty good about that? I did. I just wanted to see it full speed, you know. So I wanted to see the young guys on the defensive side and how they did uh, when things were going fast, and then on the offensive side, see how the receivers and you know it was good to get Jody back in there too. So getting Jody in the mix along with Noah, the, we had quite quite a few three tight end sets and two tight end sets. So the tight ends got they got some good work today. Coach, you mentioned, Coach, you mentioned Justin Reed. Uh, Talk about the. Uh, Benefit of being able to have him in there and get up sliding, obviously. Yeah, I mean, listen, he, he's got a big leg. I know that. And those kickoffs were, were something, you know. That uh, he had, he had the one extra point, and then I believe he missed the second one. But, um, but we just appreciate him being able to do that. And, um, I, you know, I thought he did. I thought he did a heck of a job. Yeah. Andy, uh, Pat's had some big games, no matter what time. <clears throat> He's been really good over the years this season opener. Is there anything you can put your finger on why he's been so good right out of the shoot over the years? Oh, I, listen, I don't know. He's, to me, he's pretty good all the time. I mean, we're lucky to have him. The city of Kansas City is lucky to have him. The National Football League is lucky to have him because he's a good person and a good football player. So, um, but no, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to answer your question other than I think he does pretty good all the time. So, I also should say something about our fans. Our fans were incredible today. I mean, the, they, they they were loud, loud, loud. Started with the national anthem and kept it right down to the end.